Hello, welcome to Board Game Base Coats, and today we'll be unboxing the Tamiya Spray Work Painting Booth 2. <laughs> uh, that's a mouthful. Now, uh, I've owned a couple of spray booths over the years. Uh, moving to Japan, I gave my spray booth to a friend, so coming here, I went ahead and bought a new one. So, uh, this one uh, ran about 200 bucks uh, from Amazon. Now, this is the twin exhaust model, there is a single exhaust model. Uh, for about 50 bucks less, but I uh, went ahead and upgraded to this one, and we'll talk a bit more about that a bit later. So uh, let's go ahead and unbox this now. Uh, we've got these weird exhaust pipes in here, um, but when you think about it, they kind of make sense. So um, you can twist them around, you can expand them, do all kinds of weird stuff, um, and you can actually buy them separately uh, from Amazon, but uh, these two are pretty much all I'll need. Um, we'll talk about more of my plan with those in just a bit. Um, uh, but let's go ahead and move on to our exhaust fan. So this, of course, is a twin exhaust model. Um, so what, what was the reason I bought a twin exhaust model? Well, uh, the main reason was that uh, my apartment is tiny, uh, and so I really wanted to move a large volume of air away from me. Um, but the second reason is, uh, despite the fact that I live in this tiny apartment, I don't really have any windows. So uh, there's a huge window out to the balcony, and there's a tiny window uh, off my loft bed area. Um, so I have my spray booth set up down basically near my kitchen, and then I have the, the pipes running up and up and up uh, over to the loft and over to that tiny window. So um, yeah, definitely one for this twin model. And as you can see there, uh, it has its switch, and it kind of weirded me out initially because each of the exhaust fans has their own switch. Um, I thought that was kind of a weird uh, idea. You know, you want to switch it on and have them both going. But in the end, I actually kind of like it. Um, Noise-wise, uh, as I say, I've owned spray booths before, always generic ones, so uh, with one fan, uh, noise level wise uh, it's quiet um, with both going it's still comparable uh, to the generic models I've owned in the past regardless um, even with both uh, of these uh, fans going it's way quieter than my ultra quiet uh, compressor uh, anyway so yeah noise wise not an issue so let's go ahead and move on here check out our pamphleture now Tamiya makes a lot of electronic stuff so this is just a generic, yeah, don't dump, dip it in water kind of thing, uh, so kind of useless. But uh, moving on here, uh, we've got our uh, instruction manual and parts list and all that good stuff. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. Um, actually, I just this one time glancing at it was all I needed. So let's talk a bit about how I plan to uh, hook this all up. So uh, the twin exhaust coming off, the exhaust fans, I'm going to have it connected to this Y connector, and at the top, and then that is going to go to a hose, uh, which will then head over uh, to the window. Now, initially, I was going to buy this little attachment. You could stick out the window and what have you. But actually, the tube is so long <laughs> um, that whatever smell just gets uh, dissipated. So dissipated rather. Uh, so I just have it running up uh, to my loft area, and, it, and it's been fine. So. I'm not spraying anything crazy like um, primer or anything indoors. For that, I go to the balcony. So it really is just spray paint. And so the distance seems to cover all of that just fine. So <laughs> no real problems. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and flip this over and get the last bit on here. Now, here's where a, a little more surprises, a little more of the unpleasant surprises came to me. Um, because as I open this up, you know, I'm thinking about the generic spray booths I've owned in the past, you know. Um, so here are the overspray panels. Now these are just like cheap file folder pieces of plastic. Yeah, yeah, they're functional um, as far as that goes. Actually, um, uh, I don't use that white one at the top um, like it is recommended. Um, I'll use it uh, towards the bottom just to extend the length of the side panels. Yeah, you can see them there because they're not nearly uh, wide enough. They don't go forward enough uh, and they just lock in right there. I mean, as I say, they're functional, 
But even on the most generic model, I mean, they've always been like sturdy plastic. I mean, these just kind of hook in there. Uh, so kind of disappointing for sure. I think this is the worst aspect of the whole product. Uh, boo Tamiya for that. Uh, anyway, um, here's a shot of the filters. They're about 10 bucks to get the replacement. Um, it seems like a chore uh, to pop open that front panel and get them out of there, but um, haven't had to do that yet. And actually, I've uh, gone down to the local hardware store, and you can see that's open. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't like that, so I went ahead and got some exhaust. They kind of look like shower caps. I couldn't find any on Amazon, so no pictures, unfortunately. Um, but I've got these snap-on hooks and covered that front. Uh, anyway... You can see that in my painting vids. <laughs> so let's wrap this up. Again, bought the twin exhaust model here for about 200 bucks. Uh, it's a good product. I do recommend it. So uh, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Bye now.